62 and we are back with the ultra hardcore survival uh i've got a whole bunch of golden apples some pretty decent gear and yeah i got i got an afk farm set up so i got some pretty neat books but really good bows a god rod so that's nice but we don't need that now put that there but yeah i've made some changes here and I'm just going to go around and show you what I've been doing here. So there's another portal which we're going to get to in this episode. And then in here, we've got the AFK fishing farm because I finally found a slime. Only took like 10,000 years, but they somehow managed to spawn. And as you can see, I pretty much took everything that was good out of there. But that's not to say that doing an AFK farm isn't worth it. In fact... I highly suggest doing that, especially in a scenario like this. So, I am going, mm, no. not gonna put down a piece of cobblestone, even though I seem to do that all the time. Piece of flint and a piece of iron, making the ultimate tool. And yes, I know I could have used a thing, but whatever. All right, here we go. This is gonna be my first time seeing the nether, so hopefully this doesn't kill me. <laughs> I of course could have just gone to the nether and gotten all this stuff off camera, but I wanted to do this on camera just because it's progression. Look, I even got an advancement. Okay. Suppose just gotta wait for it to load out. Alright, so I should keep in mind that well, hey. Hey there. Reset gear. Alright, so I'm just gonna eat a golden apple immediately just because I don't know where stuff is, but I'm just going to do this. Wow, I'm pretty close to zero zero actually. Okay then. The nether is usually a good way to travel across a wide land, but uh, for now I don't think we need to do that. Wow, we're up high. And I'm not talking about drugs. Okay. Oh dear, that's a, that's a lot of lava there. Wow, that's a lot of lag there. Okay. Oh, wow, you came out of nowhere. Okay, so. Run, 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 run. Okay, we're gonna be good. No nether schools, rip. Wow, that bow killed him fast. But no blaze water, great. All right. Oh, that's cool. Hey, hey, we got a skull. And that weather skeleton just put it on. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. We got plenty of golden apples now. Oh, pfft, my guess just despawned immediately when I tried to encounter it. That's a bit of bull. Magnus line. Okay. Oh. Skeleton won a piece of meat. But kill you, that's what. Alright, I got one magma slime, whatever. I could just combine magma slime with blaze powder and be done with it. Yeah, I got my 10. But I still want to explore around here just in case there's anything that will prove itself to be useful. Well, that did end, so that goes against what I just said. Ah, there we go. Okay. I don't really know what judges the position of where these maps start out, but it looks like I explored every single bit of this area. I know that bit's like plains and forest, that bit's swamp, although it doesn't show in the map. That area, that direction there is even more swamp. 
And I can see the extreme hills that are over there. Like, it's not... Uh, I'm... So, I'm way over here, and it says that the extreme hills are way over there, but when, it, when you look, it's it's right there. Why is this map scaling so small? Can't we just, like, increase the, the range that these maps have by a cost of something higher? Can we do that? I would like to do that. Oh, well. I think I've accomplished everything I needed to get done. So, now that I'm officially filthy rich and swag of potions, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more, go and share support down below, and I will see you guys all later. Bye-bye.